All right, so now under this area here, uh, we've set the welcome splash screen. Uh, and then under economy, like I said, we'll set that later. Uh, web here, this is just like about, I put the website in there, of course. Now under register, when people click on, on your uh, Wi-Fi page to register, it needs to tell it where to go. So you need to set the link here for your IP address and then the port uh, for the public port, which in this case is 5005 uh, slash Wi-Fi user account. Um, and then you have to set for passwords so people can recover their passwords. These aren't set in default. You have to set these yourself. Uh, and then for HyperGrid uh, Gatekeeper, I'll just set this here. And user domain, just set that like that. Everything is uh, public port 5005 or default 8002. But, okay, so moving on. Here's where you can restrict um, users from leaving the grid. So let's say uh, I don't want normal people to uh, to travel around. So I can set this to equals true. If I set this to false, people that are not God can uh, not travel around the hypergrid. Only gods with level 200 can travel, which is a nice feature. Uh, if you just want to restrict hypergrid, but still be able to travel around yourself as grid owners, which is kind of nice because you know you can get some cool content in the hypergrid, bring it back for yourself on the, on, on your grid to use. Uh, makes things a lot nicer. Continuing. Not sure if this is comment. No, this would not come because it's in default. So yeah, don't have to worry about that. Uh, you need to change this to true. User profile services. I don't need to configure this because we're not going to use a separate database for users. Okay, so that's the end of that. So we're going to go and save it. Now you need to do the Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi setup. So. Uh, I had saved some stuff in there. Apparently not. Alright, well, that's set. So let's go ahead and uh, make a shortcut on our desktop to this, anyways. And what you need to do is copy this bit at the top because you need to tell uh, the exe to start with this any file. Because if you don't, it's going to start with the other one. So we'll go ahead and min minimize all our screens. Uh, except for the one that we have robust, which is tutorial under bin. We're going to find the robust exe, which is here. We're going to drag it out to the desktop, make a shortcut, and we're going to rename it. We're going to call it tutorial grid. Uh, maybe we'll call it tutorial grid robust. Okay, so now we're going to right click on it, properties, and at the end we'll put a space and paste that little bit of code right there and then save it. Now if you really want to get fancy you can change the icon of it to whatever just so you have no, you know, okay that's my robust. Now with all fingers crossed that should fire up if I didn't make any typo boo-boos. So right there you see now it's creating the databases. Alright so we have Wi-Fi loaded right now. No Wi-Fi, uh, no, not Wi-Fi, sorry, robust. Pardon. Uh, but there is no Wi-Fi included, so people can't really create an account. I mean, I can go create user test uh, member, and then it's going to ask me for a password. So I and just fire through that. So we have made our first account. Now we could actually log in if we had a region set up, but we want to continue on and set Wi-Fi up with this. Uh, one quick thing I forgot to mention is. Uh, under groups at the end of robust or the groups to work you need to also comment this section here where uh, home URI equals uh, and yeah that's it so the next episode we will cover setting up Diva Wi-Fi into our robust instance to allow for a website and 
user creation and other goodies. Uh, so thank you for watching this episode and stay tuned for the next one. Thanks.